How's it going guys? Zach here at The Path. Today we're talking with Travis. He's one of our uh, video editors. And what are we talking about today? We are talking about my new Orbea Rise, the uh, Hydro H30. Awesome. So yeah. they, also, they also make a carbon one, right? That was the one that came out first. Yeah, those are the, the M series, right? The M, yeah, M series of the carbons. The H series are their aluminum ones that just recently came out. So the, the reason why I mainly got the the uh, hydro version is that 540 watt hour battery. But I wanted something, you know, I'm a big guy, 210, 65, so I need like a longer battery because it's going to take more power to kind of get up the mountain. So right, yeah. for me, even though I'm more of like, uh, I've had carbon bikes for the past like five years, but I wanted something that would take me further. And I'm glad I did it because I've been able to, um, you were with me, that's right. We did the uh, Harding Joplin loop. Yeah, that was was that the maiden voyage on it, or was that like... that was the maiden like big voyage? Yeah, the, sure. the maiden big ride. With so it. I did um, basically all the way from Cook's Corner. We did Harding, and I kept it in eco mode until we got the Joplin, and then left it in trail. And by the time we got back to Cook's Corner, I still had like like fifteen twenty percent battery. For what that bike is, that's impressive range, yeah. especially considering it's made to be like the lightweight, light duty e bike. Yeah, but it's kind of funny from from the way those bikes ride. It's like you know, or Bay advertises them. I was like, oh, it's the lightweight option for like when you don't really want like a big, huge e-bike, but it doesn't seem like it really rides like the lightweight option. It seems like it can compete sure. pretty well with a lot of the other heavy hitters out there. And I, I got to say, my bike is not exactly the stock one either, where it's, it looks <laughs> fork, pretty far from stock. Yeah. The fork is a 160-38, which is normally it's the Marzocchi Z2 Bomber. Yeah, the Z Z2 Bomber with a one in 140 travel. 140, and that, that Marzocchi is what, a 34 mil? It's right? a 34 chassis, yeah. yeah. So I've got a 38 on it now, 160, so up 20 mils, as well as the, um, the DPX2 from the stock DPS, I believe is what comes on it. Yep, the, the, yeah, the basic inline DPS to the piggyback DPX2. It's gotta be better for, you know, like you said, you're a bigger guy, so. And longer yeah. descents too, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah, if you're really gonna be hammering that bike, that's definitely gonna keep up with you a lot more. So, and also I put the reserve wheels on it and an ASA guy up front and a DHR2 in the rear. And uh, it's just like more my riding style. You know, I like to have more of an aggressive bike. Right. Um, I was worried at my size doing bigger drops and jumps, having those, Smaller. I'm sure the bike could handle it, but I'm just more comfortable in that kind of beefy stuff. Yeah. That's more my speed. Yeah, hundred um, percent. I get that. But the bike rips. It's just like I came from a double XL high tower. Yeah, so I was gonna ask, what did you come off of? That high tower was actually a little too big and the front end was so far out in front of me that in order to turn it, you just have to throw your weight around. So the Orbea, and this is what I was talking about uh Tawny Walling with, is the owner of the path, is that it just feels so neutral, the Orbea. Whereas the the uh, high tower, and this isn't um, a knock against Santa Cruz. It's just more so that I pro probably should have got an XL Santa Cruz because the Orbea just feels so neutral. Like whenever I'm on the bike, I don't have to think about weighting the front tire. I'm just always in that position. So it's just really confidence inspiring. Yeah, it's just you, you, the way your weight sits on this bike as opposed to your previous bike is just way more comfortable for your riding style. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's pretty uh, It's pretty amazing what I've been able to do. Um, also, the upgraded the uh, the brakes to the four pot Code R's. Mm -hmm. And from the stock, I think they were the 410s? Yeah, yeah, Shimano two-piston, the MT-410s, right, so yeah. big upgrade for, yeah. <laughs> for you Again, that one. 210 yeah. pounds and 220 rotor up front Yeah, and uh, 200 in the rear, and it's it stops on a dime. And then another addition, which we may end up selling at the path of these um, these new levers, too. So they're not quite on the market yet, but we're, we're talking with the, the manufacturer right now. So well, you guys can check them out, and but hopefully they'll be available or purchasing uh, later on. And I think if you were kind of a newer, maybe an intermediate rider, I think the Orbea is definitely enough bike. And if you're not over 200 pounds, I think the build that comes on it is trail friendly and it'd still be able to do probably black trails and maybe some small jumps. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just think a bigger rider and then being riding for, you know, six or seven years that I wanted something that I didn't really have to think about. But, and again, it's just cool having the Kashima stuff, even though I'm kind of a tryhard. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely don't need it. It's a, hey, the, Kish, the Kashima is a look more than anything. It, it is a look. Like, it tells your friend to empty my wallet out easier than you. <laughs> like my levers, pretty much. I had to match the gold. Well, right. yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah. So yeah, I, I got to say that it was unexpected that I would be into the e-bike this much. Um, last year, I did like something like half a million feet in elevation on my analog bike. So I'm, I'm like a cross-country slash 
enduro guy. Oh, <laughs> gross. I know. <laughs> so I'm not like the typical customer for an e-bike. Yeah, not at all. So I was worried it was going to make me make me soft. Uh, I got to say that I maybe not have more fitness, but I've definitely maintained what I had prior. You, you've been able to maintain the same fitness while riding more. Right, right. Because exactly, I'm, I'm putting in the same effort because I wear, I mean, I'm probably the only e-biker that wears a chest strap heart rate monitor. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, most most others are wearing like a fanny pack filled with a couple IPAs or something <laughs> yeah. like that. IPAs are after the ride. <laughs> So I like I like monitoring my my heart rate because it's it's how I can monitor my effort. So right. for the past four years I've been using a chest strap. So when I was riding my analog bike, you know that's how I see how well I'm doing an effort. So when I'm on the e-bike, I'm giving like the same effort because my heart rate's the same. Right. I'm just going way faster and way further. Right. The the biggest thing for me besides just getting out there a lot is that the feeling I got when I first started riding the e-bike and it's still still going on, is that it reminds me of like the first time I started mountain biking. It's like that joy and like that accessibility and like discovering new stuff. Right. I didn't have that for the past several years. I still loved mountain biking. Oh, absolutely. But like I, I lost that, that initial like joy that I got out of mm-hmm. mountain biking. That's like came back with e-bikes. Yeah, like the, the initial f- feeling of just pure adrenaline and fun out on it's a trail. It's just like, yeah, what, what can I do next? Where's the next right. trail? You know, how can I do this? It's, it's weird that I was not expecting that either. So um, as, a, as a pure XE guy for a while and then suddenly getting this this big enduro e-bike i'm super stoked on it because right. i can do the massive xe climbs but i've got a massive you know enduro bike on the downhill yeah so it's um it's been a rad bike and i i don't i mean i just want to ride it right now in fact i think as soon as we're done filming here i'm probably gonna do that <laughs> yeah sounds like a good idea sweet man yeah thanks for joining me totally